All right, today I'm going to show you Samsung's new camcorder. This is the HMX20. It's a new full high definition camcorder. It's 1920 by 1080. You have a built in memory of 8 gigabytes on here, a flash memory. So you have pretty decent sized memory. But if you do run out, you go ahead and take a look at the back panel here. You can put an MMC Plus card or you can use an SDHC card in here. So if you do run out of memory, you don't have to load it right onto your computer and then come back to whatever it is you're filming. Just go ahead, pop another card into there, and you'll have plenty of space for whatever you need. Let me take a look at here. We've got the screen. This is a 2.7 inch uh, wide screen. It's a touch screen. Most of your controls go on here on the screen. Let me take a look at the actual camera. There's not many buttons on there. So that's nice. It's a big enough screen so you don't have to sit there. I know some camcorders you have to be very careful where to hit the button, but this is big enough where you don't have to worry about that. So another cool feature on here is we have the swivel grip. So the handle comes out like that. You're going to shoot normally, cut like that. But if you're not comfortable with that, also because the monitor adjusts, you keep it any angle you need to. You can go up, down, wherever, hold it. You can keep it pretty steady. It's a nice, comfortable grip to it. It's a good feel. So that helps out a lot when you're trying to shoot, uh, you're trying to move around a party, you're trying to well, do just about anything, I guess. It's pretty nice. So you hook this to your, to your PC or to your television. Here we've got the, the dock. Now the dock, um, again, you can use with your television or with your PC. You've got AV and S video, but you also have uh, HDMI port on here. Now with the HDMI port, you won't lose any quality, so you can hook it to your television. Some of the other features I'll show you on here, it's uh, really neat because you can do some editing. You can show your vacation video or your party video or whatever to your friends. Edit all right here on the camera, plug it into the television. Show them a great quality uh, video you just edited right here on the camera. Let's take a look at some of the operations we've got on here. And now let's take a closer look at the Samsung HMX20. You can see on the outside, it's a real simple design, um, really streamlined. Compared to my hand, it's pretty small also. You can see we've got a couple buttons here and everything you can use. Your index finger and your thumb, you can control everything. And what's also real nice, when you go ahead and you flip the handle, everything is thumb controlled. So you can go ahead and just use one hand shooting, you don't have to worry about anything else, just what you're pointing at and what you're trying to videotape. Got our power button there, record button, this is our mode button that takes from a video to digital photo to play. That takes a photo, there's our zoom. Flip that up, there's our battery, and then also where I showed you before, you can put another memory card in there if you need some more memory. Let's flip it open. We've got a Q menu, which is like a quick menu. We've got our zoom feature here and our record button. Like an extra one in case you're using like left-handed operation. We go ahead and we flip uh, to the side here. Up in here, component ports. We've got easy Q button, which is really neat. Um, if you're a beginner, you don't have to worry about anything. Just hit that button. The easy Q and focus, exposure, lighting. Um, EIS, everything is covered. You don't have to do anything, pretty much just point and videotape whatever you want it to, to shoot at. Now it's also nice, you got a lot more manual features on here, so if you do get used to it or you want to play around more, you have a little bit more control than you do when you got an easy cue. Right there we've got the uh, flash button, and this right here is really neat, the eye check button. If your camera's off, you go ahead and hit eye check. It doesn't turn it on, what it does is let you know how much battery life you have. It also lets you know what your memory is at, so you know if you need to uh, put another memory card in or charge your battery before you go somewhere without turning the camera on. And it turns itself off then. Turn the camera on. And because we have a 2.7 inch touch screen, it's really nice. Buttons are big enough on here, so you don't have to worry about not hitting the right button. We go under menu. I got like scene mode, white balance, exposure, color night. Anti-shake, digital effect, focus, shutter. Telemac, we'll get back to that in just a minute. Resolution, quality, wind cut. Self-timer, backlight, fader, face detect. Guideline, digital zoom. So it's your normal menu stuff. Let me grab a book real quick. I'm gonna switch this over to telemacro. Turn that on. Head out. Let me pick the book up. As you can see, 
see the lines of text on here are really big. Um, this is really nice trying to shoot like flowers or anything else. You can get really close to it and it focuses in for you. Right. Go ahead and turn off the tele macro now. Okay, there we go. Now this is for our basic menu, the quick menu here. It's just kind of like a shorter version of the menu. This is the stuff you really need to get at when you're shooting. Go ahead and change your shutter, auto, manual. Got our exposure here, auto, manual. Change your exposure, you have a little more control. Focus, so we got auto focus, manual focus, then we got touch point focus. Anything in this square here, it's really nice, you can just go ahead and tap on it and it focuses on that. So if you've got somebody standing in front of a lot of scenery, you can let it know where you want it to focus at. We got white balance there. We've got our resolution. Uh, we've got a few different options, but this one here is really neat, the slow motion. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Um, now slow motion, it shoots 300 frames per second, so you get some really nice stuff with that. Sit back out now with mode. Now it's set up on the digital photography. You see right here, the flash button. Change from no flash, regular flash, red eye reduction, a few different flash options. Let me show you how the pop-up flash works. You can see I'm right there. Now I'll hit the button. I'm a little bit too close for using a flash, but you get the idea. It's nice built right in there. Okay, and with that you've also got some other menu options. You've got your Q menu. And then also we flip down here. Similar menu as the last thing we got. You got Telemacro on here also, which is really cool. Let's head back out of that though. I'll show you some of the play options we have. Okay. Photo option, let's check our different photos. Like a normal digital camera. Then we have HD, which is our regular video. You click on our menu here. You got a bunch of play options, um, play option, highlight, playlist, you can delete video out of here, protect, and then edit. Edit's a really neat feature they put on here. Um, you've got a few different things on here, you can go ahead and chop stuff up. Partial delete, the first thing we've got. You can go ahead and pick which part of a clip you don't want and just get rid of it. Divide means you can go ahead and take a video, click a clip of it, cut it in a couple pieces if you need that done, if you want to spread it out over a different spot, and then we've got combine which you put clips together, which is nice if uh, you don't want to put it to your computer and do some editing, do it right here on the camera, then plug it into your TV and show your friends or family. That's well, yeah, file info on there also tells you about each file. And this is the slow motion I was showing you or telling you about. I'm not sure how nice it's going to look on the camera I'm shooting with, but you see it shoots 300 frames per second, normal video is 30, so you get nice slow motion, a lot of detail. And when the soda fountain stops, you can see each drop just falling down slowly. You have a lot more detail with this, so you can make a really powerful looking stuff. It's really cool looking special effect we've got. And it kicks you back over here, the main menu. That's pretty much all we've got today for the uh, Samsung HMX20. Till next time, see you later.